We wait for everything. We wait in line to get our coffee. We wait in line to get our food. We wait in line to get our registration on our cars. We wait in line at the grocery store. We wait in line everywhere we go. We wait, we wait, and we wait. And we wait on God. Isn't that like kind of the story of our lives? We are, we're a waiting species. We, we just can't seem to catch a break sometimes with the things we need, the things we want. We, we, we're, we're taught to get everything now, but we're also told you got to be patient too. So how do we mix the, 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 the need for everything now and immediate and the patience it takes to wait in line, to wait on God, to, to let life happen around us. The world tells us to be impatient, to grab, 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 grab. But the word of God speaks over and over and over and over about waiting on God and allowing him to move and, and all the aspects of our lives. I think I could raise my hand. I think most of us can about the fact that we struggle with waiting. And I just went through a drive through just the other day. Literally, it was only about five, maybe 10 minutes waiting in line. And I was kind of losing it. I was like, what is, I'm never coming back. I'm not. There are aspects of our lives with God where we wait and we wait and we wait. And one of the things I, I, I began to understand in my life as I started getting a little closer to God and, and my relationship with him was getting stronger is that the way that I can deal with the waiting, and we pray about it in every single way. Maybe if I pray about it this way, maybe if I pray about that, I, I know I need it in my life. I want this, I want that, I want that. And, and God said I can have it and everything I pray on, and it doesn't happen. And so if we change our prayer, maybe we'll be able to outsmart God almost. But yet the waiting continues on certain aspects of our lives, you know. The waiting goes on and on and we keep praying and we keep trusting. One of the greatest things I think I ever learned about trusting God is that I have to be okay. The fact that what I'm praying for, if it is not the will of God, that I'll be okay with it in a sense. I don't know if I cl clearly said that, but... If what I'm praying for is not in God's will, am I okay with it as I wait and as I ponder? And what I begin to find out is, and what I begin to experience personally in my life is once I had that mindset, as best I can, because I am an individual, I'm a human, I'm a sinner, I begin to be more at peace on areas of my life where I am waiting for God to move. Well, from what I think is God to move. God's moving all the time. He's moving the pieces around us. But you see, the mindset of the human being is waiting on God. We don't wait on God. I think a lot of times God's waiting on us to get our minds in the right place so that, so that we're at peace, even though maybe certain aspects of our life and our prayer life aren't being answered the way we want them to be. Our life just seems to be a big waiting game sometimes. I have to focus many times on the fact that I am okay where God has me now. And as I wait, I'm able to work. I'm able to do. We're able to do this, do that. Because God has got us through situations in the past. God has guided me on areas of my life and he's answered those prayers even though it took time. And you know, we got to have our mind in the right place. Are you happy where you are now? Are you appreciative to God? Even though there's aspects of your life or your ministry that you're waiting on God to move and all these things and you need the pieces to fall into place, but are you okay now? Am I okay now? You see, our minds have to be strong and in the right place in order sometimes, I believe, for God to open that door. So if we're upset and angry at where our life is right now, how can we expect God to open the grandeurs of heaven over our lives for what's to come when we can't handle the situations that we're in? You see, our minds have to be in the right place as we play this waiting game. Because if you're in line at the store and you're bouncing up and down and you're yelling and, and you're not okay with, with waiting for your food, 
then they're going to call the cops and they're going to kick you right out the store and you're going to leave with nothing. I think sometimes we forget that aspect of our lives with God. That if we can't handle now, how can we handle what's to come? Something that's on my mind today, I thought I'd share it with you. Life is a waiting game. And we may be waiting on certain things in our lives from God, but we need to make sure that we're okay and ready to handle the aspects of our life we're praying for, praying for, praying for. Maybe God's working on us and getting us right in the mind and in the spirit and in the body to handle the next blessings and miracles that are in our path. I pray this blesses you. Some that's on my mind, ladies and gentlemen, the more we work on ourselves, I believe and I trust the more doors and opportunities and prayers that are answered along this road that we call life. I love you. God bless you. Share this message. Maybe somebody else needs it. Oh, yeah. And how do you wait? <laughs> we all have our different ways. Share it in the comments. I love you. God bless you. Have a great day.